Hi everyone, welcome to PAX Australia. I am super excited to have the Innersloth team here because we will be starting it all off uh, with PAX Storytime. Uh, before we get into introductions, I do want to begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Uh, I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today as well. So yeah, let us just get right into it. Um, I will be your moderator. I'm Victoria. I'm the community director at Innersloth. Um, so basically, if you see us on social media or <laughs> anything kind of marketing related or press related or us talking, it is usually uh, by me. Um, and then we can start, I guess, alphabetically. Adriel? Hey, um, I'm Adriel. I am lead programmer at Innersloth, right among us. And I'm Forrest. I'm a co-founder, programmer, CEO, all kinds of stuff. I'm Gary. I'm another programmer at Innersloth. I'm Torin. I'm a back-end programmer at Innersloth on Among Us. I just realized I'm like surrounded by programmers today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was hitting me too during the intros. Hey. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a very um, chaotic uh, pack story time, full full disclosure. Uh, but we will be playing a little bit of hide and seek, uh, and I'll be asking questions and talking. Uh, we may get really sidetracked because that is kind of the inner sloth way of doing things. <laughs> so it'll be fun. It'll be great. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. Um, okay, so I guess just to begin, like really slowly, and I get you can start the game at any point. Um, I would love to hear, uh, did you, if everyone in the team, like, did you always want to work in games? And if you did, like, what were your jobs before this? I know people, some people have, like, really interesting jobs before they get into games. I don't know if anyone has an interesting one to start with. Victoria, why don't you tell us what your first job was? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was a, okay, so you know, like in college, how they, they can take advantage of students being really cheap labor. Um, that's, that's what I was. I was like a digital journalist and I was basically play, uh, paid to make blog posts for this company that was like Airbnb, but for corporate people. Um, it was very, it was very dry. It was very, uh, I had to write a lot of words about buildings and appliances, and I can't Ooh. say that was my dream job. <laughs> yeah, but I imagine fun. it's still good, like, PR experience type stuff, like. Oh, for sure. You have to get that, like, I mean, super dry, but also, you know, exact tone, like, really, mm -hmm. really good. Yep. Yeah, and I was supposed to get go into healthcare, so just disappointment on all fronts, really. Yeah. How do you play hide and seek in Among Us? Yeah, are we playing hide and seek or are we playing um, the game for real right now? I think we're just <laughs> playing the game for real. I think, I think hide and seek is like sort of a task run thing where like because the imposter I th so uh, has like poor vision. To, yeah, you're supposed to turn all of the vision down and we're supposed to sabotage the lights and we're supposed to know yeah. who the imposter is. Yeah. Okay, uh, I am the imposter. Yeah, so I, I think the imposter Imposters, yeah, it's supposed to just like kill people. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember to kill the cooldown all the way, or turn the cool to kill, kill cool down kill, all kill, the way. Kill down, down. all the way cool. Yeah. Cool kill. It's I might ha not have. See, it might just be a, a busted crewmates are gonna win. Well, uh, well, well. Now we know that Gary's the. Well, I guess actually for hide and seek that's okay. Yeah, we that's know how true. To play our no, that's game. that's part <laughs> of it. Hide and seek. You're supposed to say who the imposter is. Uh, I have a th I have a 30 second kill cooldown. So. Okay, so the so crewmates are just gonna win. Yeah, we need to turn it's down. It's fine. All it's a it's too. a practice run. Everyone needs yeah. a practice run, even the developers. So it's fine. Yeah. Gary's just chasing me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess yeah. to answer the actual question. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I always kind of wanted to be in games. Um, ever since I was little and discovered how much I love games. And then I kind of got sidetracked from that because it was like, I don't actually know how to get into games as a kid. Like, it just wasn't a thing growing up where it was like, oh, indie games or anything. Um, and it took me a long roundabout path of 
discovering indie games to actually finally get into games. Um, and that path took me through space industry stuff and working on satellites that are up in Wait, the sky. Wait, you, work <laughs> you worked on space stuff? Yeah. Um, which is actually kind of fitting, I guess, now for, you know, Among Us. Well, I think uh, I think something that our players don't really know is that you're actually in space right now. When you're yeah, these are here. these are real stars. Yeah. Oh, of course. That's, yeah. Um, I mean, aren't we all technically in space? Hmm. Velociraptor, think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard that forever. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we have the first uh, game dev in space. Right. In space. In space. I, I started answering that question while starting the uh, Simon Says task, and it, I just exited out of that task. I was like, I can't talk and do any memory stuff at all. Yeah. Uh, never mind. That's, that's not the best menu. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I can't multitask at all. Like, if I'm doing any two things, one of them takes a backseat, and I forget about it. Um, but I, I, my, like, uh, path into games is kind of more like, uh, age or elsewhere. I, I, I'm not sure I ever knew I wanted to be in games. I was like, I want to make a game. Cool. But I was like, probably not ever going to work for a company. I, I don't think that was ever really a thing. Um, and then so like I just you know went to college good at programming so I did that and then I did some time at uh, Microsoft and um, and then met Marcus like right at the end of college so we like were friends and thinking both of us wanted to make games on the side and then uh, so we made games on the side and eventually it was like well maybe we'll give a, a full-time thing a shot and uh and so i quit microsoft with a bunch of savings so i you know wouldn't go on the streets while trying to make a game or anything and then uh made among us and among us was like doing well enough that I, we were gonna make another game and then you know the, the things happened and so now we get to help a lot of people make games That's I'm the imposter, by the way, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we are not playing this game properly. People are going to be like, the devs can't even play their own game. <laughs> um, um, cool. All right. So, yeah, Torin and Gary, then. What are what are your origin stories? Um, I... I, I, I was, like, making games in, uh... And, like, Game Maker and, and other similar programs when I was younger, like when I was a, when I was a teenager. Um, so I kind of always knew that's what I wanted to do. And I went to college for it um, and started pretty early. I mean, I was, the first game that I released, um, commercially at least, was uh, created while I was a student for the most part. Um, so like right out of college, I had a job, full-time job in web development for about a year. Uh, before we were funded for um, our other project. And so I quit my job. We worked on that for like a year and a half and and, and shipped it. And um, it was only about two and a half years between that and, and coming to Anders Law. So, um, you know, I always knew that's what I wanted to do. Uh, similar to Forrest, I didn't really want to work for like a big company. I always wanted to either do my own thing or, or be at a small uh, company where I, where I, what I did uh, felt like it mattered in the context of like the entire game, not just like you worked on this one little tiny part of it. Oh god, <laughs> not fast enough, Adriel. Oh shit. <laughs> You're lucky to kill exactly something. fast enough as it would happen. Oh, <laughs> oh, where did you go? Oh, Dang it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was where my uh, story ended, anyway. <laughs> Perfect. I feel like, I feel like, so. When I went to college, I tried to make games with like friends and stuff, and like none of it ever panned out like in the slightest. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like it was super important and like just really good. 
it was a really good something. I don't even know if it was really good experience. Like, I don't know if I use any of that knowledge or like something now, but it just, I, I feel like it's important. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Somehow. I think so. I had gotten I... oddly like discouraged from games when I was in college because I started, when I was graduating, I like started looking for jobs and the only things you could find were like AAA, AA studios and every single one of them had the whole, you know, entry level position must have shipped five games. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I don't know how to what? And then yeah. so, and then I just randomly ended up in the space industry um, and was there for a while. And it was the whole, it was the whole like, feeling like a tiny little cog in a big machine. And then I discovered indie games and I was like, oh, I don't have to be a cog. I can just be the machine now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your nickname at Innersloth, is the machine. The machine? <laughs> what? I just um, saw a cold-blooded murder. Who's the, who's the hide and seek? Oh yeah, it's, it's me. Forest. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I got okay. I got my free kill. To to be fair, I saw Gary and I could have killed him, but I decided not to because it was. So you fun. decided to kill me? Well, well I mean, you were number defense. two. Okay, great. You only get oh. one freebie. Israel oh, Israel no. left. My so, I'm running I'm running Steam through a virtual machine and it didn't like it. Oops. I'll be back. Oh, well, it's fine. You'll be back. I, yeah. It's... Okay. There we go. Uh, that was yeah, a quick one. Wow. It's, okay, for <laughs> I think I think it's rare for college games to, to ship, and um, the only reason I think that ours did was because we just polished that turd as much and as long as we could for, like, five years. I'm the imposter. Oh wow! Pol- Proper I mean, gameplay. Um, I but I, yeah, I mean, honestly, that you got to the polish stage says yeah. a lot yeah. in itself. Yeah. Because it yeah, the, the thing most I think... oh, oh, most of my games like never, they were never designed fully enough, and they were so overscoped that like we never really got them far off the ground even. Yeah. Right. I think um, the, the biggest wait. lesson that I. Oh yes, sorry, go on. <laughs> I was, was going to say Torin <laughs> hasn't been able to say <laughs> what they were doing yeah. yet. That's true. Yeah. Go on. Do it. Do it. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a fancy like. Okay, oh, wow. I'm dead now. What the heck? Uh, sure. I don't have a... Yeah, I, I went on a murder spree. <laughs> I don't really have a fancy story. I didn't go to college, so when I was younger, I really wanted to make a Metroid game, and so I tried anything I could. I started with Visual Basic, and uh, that was terrible. So uh, then I went on and I found Game Maker, and it worked out pretty good. And from there, I, yeah, uh, from there, I just learned to use Game Maker more and then picked up some contracting positions. And most of them were about online networking, which was something I kind of delved into more just as I worked on them. And it turned out it was a pretty cool, like, area of game development so that's i guess how i'm here now i feel like every game developer at some point has gone through the i want to make a metroid game phase Mm -hmm. like it's a rite of passage at some point it's true i think i I have heard that phrase from many people yeah i i think my metroidvania phase was probably a bit shorter than most i i don't like walking or like traveling in games and so i pretty quickly learned that like Metroidvanias mostly are not for me. <laughs> this card swipe is killing me. But <laughs> I did, I did love Mega Man, and so of course I had like so I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a Mega Man game, but all of the stages is gonna be stitched together. Before I knew that that was just a thing. <laughs> Can't do this. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, okay. you, 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 you said that you didn't really, like, learn, or maybe, maybe not necessarily learn, but maybe didn't use any of that experience um, now. I think the biggest thing that I learned working on Daryl, um, I don't even know if we should get into this, but it's just, like, how much crunch destroys you as a person. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, mm-hmm. it's like we, we, we worked... Um, I mean, no exaggeration. It was it was seven days a week, and I'm, I don't want to glorify this. I will tell you the consequences of this. Uh, we worked seven days a week, 
for probably 12 to 14 hours a day for over a year, uh, very few breaks. And uh, I ended up having to go to therapy and get on antidepressants for, oh like, because God. of it, you know, like it was, it was like really, really, like I was just a, not a human anymore afterwards. It was really bad. Mm. Um, and now like it, it has like made me be very, very careful uh, about like work-life balance. And it's, it's interesting that like, the biggest lesson I think I took away from working on my first game was like how to not work on a game healthily, yeah. you know? Yeah. Which is and a really important lesson that is really hard to learn because you don't see the burnout until it happened. You know? Yeah. Like it's it's one of those things that's like that silent thing that just sort of sneaks up on you where you're like, oh well, you know, I just want to work a little bit extra tonight. No, now I want to work a little bit more tonight. No, now I'm so tired but I have so much to do and I just want to you know, work a little bit more and, and keep going and then all of a sudden next thing you know you're just you're, you're burnt out and then you can't work and it's you know, you're in that phase where now I need, now I need therapy now I need to not work. Now I'm forced not to work because I literally cognitively can't process work right now and it's just like mm -hmm. It's so detrimental, and if only you had taken, you know, a couple days off earlier, then you wouldn't have burnt out, and you actually would have been able to ultimately work more correctly, you know, yeah. more, yeah. you know, more um, efficiently with more free time overall. Like, and it's and it's hard because we're we're an industry that gets gets that weird. Um, push of passion because it's video games and it's fun and you have to be passionate and you have to give yourself to games and, eh. and yeah, for sure. passion very quickly devolves into toxicity which very quickly devolves into now you're broken and that's <laughs> that's not it that, that's not fun that's not a fun industry mm -hmm. yeah no for sure um who's the who's imposter this? who's the, we're the not imposter. playing this properly Sorry. <laughs> Who's the imposter? I am. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Definitely, if that's, if that's, so if that's all, we may have just taken a dark turn way too early in this. Yeah. We can edit that part <laughs> out if we have to. We got, we got real dark, but I mean, it's it's also true, and it's a reality of game dev, and oh. I'm glad we're talking about it. And it's an important thing, because there are a lot of people out there who just say you have to suck it up and work harder and do this mm -hmm. and do that and it's not true it's not true at all and mm -hmm. the more all of us can just keep saying that the less the next people who come into this industry will think it's true mm -hmm. yeah a brutal death by me by time. <laughs> um okay so let so just let's just move on from it <laughs> and speaking of you know feelings and what a great segue i have um wow I that am... was oh wow that was no, super maybe fast. we need fewer tasks uh, yeah 100 win rate. i don't think we crewmates have won yet um the only time crewmates have won now. was the time where we just didn't really realize we were playing hide and seek yet <laughs> it's true it's yeah true. i'll turn um, it down a yes. little bit i have a i have a question because i know like when when i was talking to inner sloth to join them like one of the first things i said to forest i think was i'm really bad at playing your game because it makes me really nervous um how does everyone feel playing among us do you do you do, are you anxious do you have a good time i'm also the imposter i i am a terrible 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 liar i can't do it i'm bad at it i'm not good at it um and so like the only when i'm imposter and i get into you know the voting and the discussion i'm just like it wasn't me and then i'm just like i don't know what else to do and i just make a <laughs> dumb face and it's so clear but when i'm like for me i'm real good at I don't know, doing things. <laughs> doing the tasks. So I'm really good if there's two imposters because then would it I don't know. I can like would you, somebody else. <laughs> would the programmers be better like do the task even so faster if we put it into like ClickUp or something? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> high priority. Always during ClickUp and mark marked as urgent. And also <laughs> of course, naturally. Uh, and even then, mm, it's a little 
a little iffy sometimes. <laughs> I've never done this task before. What is this? Okay. Wow, even shorter rounds because <laughs> we, we are, are we are we supposed to call out when we see the imposter and be like, hey, they're over here. We yeah. probably could, it but could. it'll interrupt conversations. Oh, so. right. But I, yeah. I think that's how you're supposed to play it, right? And that's how yeah. like, you know it's safe to do tasks in your area. Yeah, that's how I've done it. I just I want to I want to preface that we do know how people are playing, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and I swear we're like aware of it and we talk about it. Yeah, it's just hard to it's hard to do two things at once. We can sure. always play like non hide and seek version, but then just only keep talking about not the game until voting. I'm we can certainly again. try. <laughs> try it. Um, yeah. It's too late right now, right? But I don't yes. think anybody said they were the imposter, did they? Oh, I just said I was the imposter. Yeah, um, Victoria. I wasn't oh, listening. Sorry. Oh, thanks, thanks, Adrian. <laughs> well, it, that's exactly how the, the real game is going to go as well. It's perfect. Uh, I, I thrive as imposter. I love social deduction games. I know. Uh, Where did you go? Uh, I don't. <laughs> Dang it! I missed. It. I don't thrive on it, but I do pretty well. Um, it it's it comes a lot back to the whole like single track mind thing where like if i'm actually focused on the things that i need to be focused on i'm very good at it but most of the time i'm not really thinking that hard about the game and so i just like kind of okay just go through the, the things the motions and it works okay hmm. simon says um, uh, simon. how about she, you she murdered me she murdered me during Simon's house. Oh. oh. I, yeah. I, I just get stressed. Yeah. It's yeah. just a yeah. really right? stress. My, it's just stress. My heart bounds if I'm imposter. That is for sure a thing. And like, yeah. I don't... I feel like I'm gonna lose all my friends because we're just <laughs> screaming at each other. I mean, oh, it's great I, I chaos. Love sowing, but... I love sowing chaos like that. But <laughs> see, the, the trick is, is you have to be the wild card while you're a crewmate or imposter. Like, if I'm crewmate, I start sowing seeds like I'm the imposter. And that way, that way I'm playing the same regardless. And it so you play matter. the long game. I just play the make this as funny as possible game. <laughs> I just, like, <laughs> I also have this problem where I just, like, shout out with whatever's on my brain. So it's like, it's like, oh, I got you. And it's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> to say. The, or like, the third so imposter was, said. There was a panel I used to be a part of that was at PAX East and PAX West that was called, you know, Devs Play Werewolf or Devs Play Mafia, and we made up rules to Werewolf or Mafia, and we all played it together, and the very first time we ever played it, we were in, like, the, the starting phase where, you know, we had your eyes closed, and it was like, okay, if you're, you know, the werewolf, raise your hand, and everybody can look around and raise a hand, and I was, I was one of the werewolves, and I, like, wasn't paying attention while my eyes were closed, and so the moderator was like, alright, if you're a werewolf like raise your hand and then all of a sudden it came to me i was like oh that's me and i like said it out loud and everybody was like <laughs> cool <laughs> and I was like, nice <laughs> i was like all right i'm bad at this but at least it was funny yeah so are we playing a real game now yeah i was gonna ask how oh, are we it's it's kind of hard with the visibility but i'm down oh yeah that's true maybe <laughs> i should have reset some of the <laughs> other settings we can always try it. Maybe crewmates will get a win. Who knows? Let's hope. Uh, uh, I, I. This is like a slight segue, and I don't, I don't know if it'll turn out bad, but I think it'll be fine. So I have this thing because Among Us has been like, you know, Among Us grew up from a small game. So like when we were a small game, we would like reach out to people and. You're a small game, so it's really hard to get people's time. Mm -hmm. And so, like, a lot of our best partners now are people that I have reached out to before about Among Us, and they ignored us. And <laughs> that's... It's it's a very unique thing, because, like, most games don't, like, grow out of that, that small phase, or it's like you'll just move on to a different project, and then, you know, stuff like that. But, but I actually remember... Adriel, uh, the the where or the mafia things, and I was like, oh, we have. I just DM'd you. It was a cold DM, and there's like no problems with it. But, but yeah, I DM'd you like, oh, we have a a, 
a mafia type game as well and uh it was honestly also going nowhere i don't even remember what it was about <laughs> but, but yeah i i do remember i dm'd adriel about the the mafia conversation and i got no oh, response no. i That's feel weird. horrible now oh no, <laughs> no. Now I, I like have to pull up twitter and go through my because like i'm my Twitter DMs are a mess all the time. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be ancient. It's it's like a 2017 text or something. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look. I think it was Gary, by the way, who is the imposter. Oh, we know who the imposter is. I thought yeah, we didn't it's know Gary. That's not me. Yeah, it's Gary. Sure. <laughs> it is Gary because okay. I was then in a room with Gary and then I left that room and Victoria was dead. The person who okay. was imposter okay. said they were imposter at the start. I yeah. I thought we were playing a real game. We, yeah, I thought so too. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be fun to go back and watch. It's fine. Gary, oh my Gary deserved to die. Oh my god. Cool. Um, yeah, I feel like we have- I feel like the inner slot- So do we need a button? Nope. Cause- Okay, we can't button. Nope. We'll fix yeah, my, this and then we'll button. My, um... My DMs, I imagine... If it was like was it after Pax East or Pax West? It was it was definitely a West because I've never been to an East. Yeah, so a Pax West, usually being in the fall, is usually right before I put train jam tickets for sale. So that's gonna be my only excuse right there. Is maybe <laughs> I was busy and I was like, I'll respond to this later. And then... Honestly, you really don't need an excuse because <laughs> I'm I feel bad like how insanely awful I am about DMs now. Like, it, yeah. the second you have any amount of, like, demands, mm -hmm. it's it's just impossible. Like, yeah. I mean, it some people do it, and they're insane. Yeah, but... people who have an inbox zero and, like, are up on their DMs, I don't get it. Oh, I, I, I would I open like... up my email, but people would get um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have, like, 12,000 unread emails. It's like... Ooh. This is what, my I, life now. what I've started doing is at the beginning of the year, I archive everything that's older than like two months, and I just start over. Like that sounds really cathartic, actually. Yeah, yeah. the first time I did it, it felt really bad and scary, but just delete your entire time. inbox. Actually, I think that would help. Yeah. <laughs> just delete it all. Actually, wait, no, I have things I need for yeah, just delete it all. Yeah, you might actually need one of those emails. <laughs> really? I've, yeah, I've had to go back like a couple months. I, yeah. Also, I mean, and in Adriel's defense, reception in space isn't super great. That's Especially true. Yeah. 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 Again, yeah. she is in space. Um, also, think, I doesn't it take if... like 15 minutes to to get uh, data from the moon or something? Yeah. It's like, it's uh, like a big delay. Yeah. It takes a long time. I... Yeah. I feel like, okay, so I think the thing is, is that the games industry is actually quite small in its own way. Like, I know so many of the inner sloth people, like, despite us all, you know, working remotely and not being able to meet for, I think, the start of, like, the, uh, when people were hiring. It's like, I feel like I know of or knew so many people as we were hiring on people, and it was really, it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's just, in general, it's just a difference between, like, the people that meet you that may be a way more impactful like thing for them than it is for you and just like understanding that like i mean understanding that the opposite is also true like yeah. i mean it's it's the whole thing that like goes around on on twitter and whatever sometimes mm -hmm. of like if you meet someone for the second time you might need to reintroduce yourself because mm -hmm. they might not remember you if it's been yeah. you know like a year ago or six months or something like there's we meet a lot of people and everybody meets a lot of people and it's just 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 go easy on us <laughs> yeah as somebody, go easy on us. Um, as someone who's bad at faces and names a lot of the times it's like i end up at you know an event and somebody's like oh yeah we hung out three years ago and i'm like oh, oh no <laughs> like oh no <laughs> are we playing a real game or hide and i think we are i'm pretty sure we're i think a real game. Well, the, yeah, the I mean, oh no, bridged real is, game. The cooldown's ten seconds for kills, so Oops. it's wow. like even it's even harder for crewmates now because we don't know who the imposter is. Yeah, and did ah, you well, remember to increase the vision for the maybe, imposter? Maybe I'll just 
reset the recommended setting. It's like, fine. <laughs> I do. I do have something else that I want us to do after we finish this game. So it's fine. We'll just play okay. it out and see what happens and see if crewmates get to win. Also, um, I don't know if Twitter like clears out DMs after a while, but I have no DM history with you. Oh. Is it like in the hidden oh. DMs? You even deleted out. the DM. I can't believe it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> This game sounds so bad, I don't even want to have this DM <laughs> here. And that's why wow. Adriel's the imposter. Yeah. I don't actually okay. know if that's true. Does I'll anybody know? Um, I was going to guess it was Gary if Gary wasn't dead, but he I actually, I, I, dead. I just claimed it. <laughs> I threw myself out. Now I feel alive. bad. I shouldn't have done this. This was awful. <laughs> We're just following your lead. Oh, it worked. What? <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm vindicated. Nothing there is wrong. <laughs> I've never had a doubt. It worked out so well. Okay, so we have like uh, less than 20 minutes left. So I do want, I've created a tier list because I want us to rank who we think on the team would get away with murder like the best and why. Mm. I have yeah. an answer already. Uh, Forest. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so here is my Among Us devs playing Among Us tier list make- Okay, this- this title doesn't make sense. I can- Okay, well, let's just <laughs> scroll down. <laughs> okay, Your so job, basically, though. I want us to figure out who we think on the dev team uh, would get away with murder. Whether in the game or, you know, in real life, just based <laughs> on what we know about each other. S means they are super getting away with murder. <laughs> and D is... A is absolutely getting away. And B is better be getting away. And C is couldn't get, couldn't get away. And D would be... Those definitely not would not get away. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Exactly. It all makes it's, sense. It all makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay, And that so... quick thinking is why I think that Forrest and S are getting away with murder. <laughs> okay, so already off the bat, we have Forrest getting away with murder. Um, yeah. For anyone I watching... Think... Sorry, for anyone watching, these uh, crewmates are crewmates that we drew of ourselves. Um, I tried to label it, but I see now it's cut off. Sorry, I'm a professional. Um, it's fine. You'll figure it out. So Forrest <laughs> is super getting away with murder. Am I supposed yeah. to like fight for why I shouldn't get away with murder? Or I... Maybe some people want to just... be able to get away with murder. Mm. So it's your choice. It's my... whatever you want. My two mega votes for who would get away from murder are Gary, because he's chaotic, and what's mm. more chaotic than murder? That's why I'd get caught. Yeah, That's because fair. I feel like we all suspect Gary to be the, like, the imposter, usually. Um, are we talking real life or game now? Uh, both. <laughs> Again, this is interchangeable, you know? If you can get away with murder in the game, you can probably get away with murder in real life, is my life. That's here. how all games work. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you're really good at guitar, Gary, <laughs> you are extremely good at real guitar. So, so is Gary mm -hmm. going into the B rank then? Like, maybe, maybe not? Just wild card. Yeah, okay, we can put I him in B in for way. now. Yeah. Nice. And then my other vote is Sharon, because she's she's so chill. Like she would, it's true. She, she could do it and then just be like, yeah. And and just methodical too. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. yeah. Very methodical, very That's thorough. True. She would clean up after herself. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. The, the, so is the she, kind is of person who uses ice to kill a person so that it melts in them. <sighs> yeah, I think so even a, Sharon is diabolical. Oh. Um, I was going to put like Blau in S or A tier for getting away with murder. I feel like he like plays among us like the most seriously out of all of us. I think I think he's too high profile, you know? True. Mm, like, mm, yeah. Right. People would suspect yeah. him. Yeah. Would would they, yeah, they suspect would be like him? you weren't streaming at the right time, so where mm. were you? Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That'd be like right. like yeah. You missed your you missed your nightly stream the same time that, you know. But wouldn't he have Rick like but out. wouldn't then he could like just stream at normal times and have an alibi but like you know time it so that it was in between streams or something right and then he could be like oh i was just getting ready for streams or something and then you yeah, have, but I imagine you have to like murder when when the murder presents itself not so much all right um, so a a a adriel's a d because of that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've already just, said, I can't lie, I don't know how to do things, I yeah. I don't know, man. Mm. The, the fact that you didn't even consider that 
planning is a consideration. Like it wasn't even that like it was just you can't. You can't you can't possibly plan for this. Uh yeah, that's a D. Okay. <laughs> but wait, 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 so where's Blau? Where is where's Blau? Uh, I don't know. See, I, I also think Blau wouldn't wouldn't murder somebody. That's also Blau. true. Like, yeah, I I could maybe do it, but I wouldn't get away with it. I don't think Blau would murder anyone. <laughs> That's not part of the question. Yeah, but it's not what, part. What? Yeah, it's not if they would murder. It's if they did for some reason, mm. would they get away with it? I but I think that just sinks their grade. Like, it, if they wouldn't, and then they did, that means they're just they're probably just gonna confess. Blau's just gonna confess. Okay, so is yeah. that a C or a D then? Forrest is admitting that he's capable of murder and would probably get away with it. <laughs> and would not confess. Well, he's an S tier, so we already know. Okay, I'm putting I'm putting Blau in C. Because <laughs> I don't know where we are. We can reorder these. Good. Yeah. We can reorder the, these. Um, there's a chance. It's true. Uh, also, yeah. actually, I should I should preface this. Uh, Sharon is another one of our programmers, and Blau is our game strategist. Just yeah. so you know. Next, we have Torin. All right, yeah. Torin. Get everyone in the room out of the way. Yes. Oh, All right. Yes. I, th I think Torin. I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push for the A tier just because this whole time they've been quiet and that's all you really need to do. You just that's true. you just that's true. sit back and and let the let the the heat blow over. It's fine. It's true. Yeah. Torin has been just like silently observing us, and I feel like they've learned so much about us through this, that they can already mm -hmm. plan this murder pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. Easy. They're not yeah, even defending I, I... themselves! <laughs> Come on, <Torin. laughs> What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, alright, maybe that, maybe, maybe the tier needs to be downgraded a little bit now. <laughs> what? I was gonna that say... Wasn't, that defense wasn't super strong. If, if you're in an interrogation room and the police are like, did you do it, and you go, what can I say? <laughs> I think you're probably gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. This, this Maybe. is true. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Okay, that's... Uh, see, but Gary's being too smart about this. I'm yeah. like... Uh -huh. I'm yeah. Like, I'm oh, I would Gary absolutely like... get away with it. The fact that I can continue to put me in... A, absolutely get away with it. Right. No, no. Okay, so we're with A. Uh, okay, where would I go? Oh, no. D. D. The D. D. We, we already know how imposter works. Yeah. <laughs> Although e -tier, Victoria. late games <laughs> have been very good, you've been you've been playing you've been playing your uh, your um, what is it your um, the, the preconceived notions to your advantage, and it it is super effective. Thank so, you. So uh, it still makes me very nervous. Yeah, I don't think I could last. I feel like I could last like five seconds, and then I just break. Yeah. Yeah like um, cry when I think I've hurt anybody so if I, I did murder somebody they would be like did you do it but like, yeah so I legitimately was on the verge of tears when I had to do the AOC stream like I was on like streaming and I was like I want to cry <laughs> this is so <laughs> <stressful>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, but it was great. It was great. Um, okay, so next up we'll have Hanako, who is our merch and artist person. I she has a night at the ready. Like yeah. they, they're ready. They're ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Have we played with Hanako yet? I think. I, I think we have. <sighs> yeah, maybe maybe during like airship testing. It yeah, might have been a while. So. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like Hanako could like charm their way out of something because they just like doodle something for us and we'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so cool! And then we're yeah. like, Hanako's in the Hanako's in the, the interrogation room and she's like, can I have a paper and pen? Just. <laughs> yeah. And then we're, just, like, we're absolutely distracted. Since none of us, I think, have a good concept with how art happens, there's mm -hmm. also like. You know, a funny joke gets made, and then all of a sudden, 30 seconds later, there's this amazing drawing mm -hmm. made by Hanako, and we're like, wow, that must have taken a hundred years, how did you do that? And so they could, like, murder somebody, make a quick drawing, and we'd be like, you couldn't have done it. That it's had true. to have taken at least a month for you to it's do true. a full, full time work. Yeah. Alright, I'm saying Hanako's wow. A tier. Yeah. Wow. Are we, are we so the two, the two knife... knife <laughs> the two knife. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So next we have our animator Jake, and I don't think we've played with Jake before. We have not played with Jake before, but wild card. 
I will say, Jake is a natural at games. I've never seen Jake be bad at a game. Mm. And so I think they just have the problem solving for murder. I'd throw him only to A, though, because, like, just because he's a problem solver doesn't mean that he's also really good at getting away with it. True. I don't know whether whether Jake would just crack. That could mm. happen. Okay. Yeah, and, and he's, he's also, he also uh, is very uh, outgoing. Like, he, mm -hmm. like, he, 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 he seems to be someone who, uh, like, likes to, I don't know how to, like, put this, just, like, really participate in conversations and, like, and mm -hmm. just, you know, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. makes me think that, uh, the police should probably get him, you know? He'd yeah. probably, he'd probably, <laughs> probably offer too much information during an interrogation. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Something okay. might slip. Yeah. yeah. But also, Fair. you know, I mean, he might also just only provide really innocent things that, uh, you know, maybe he's just like a genius. Getting his way out of it. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, he, okay. he can have the Hanako defense where it's like, oh, you created this animation. Animations clearly take 17 years to make. There's mm -hmm. no way you could have murdered anybody. You were busy. Yeah. But will he yeah. see the option? No one can say. It's true. It's true. We're not sure. Okay, temporary B tier until we maybe decide more. <laughs> yeah, further evaluation is needed. <laughs> yes, further evaluation is needed. Uh, Amy, who is our artist and also was working on merch for a long time. She wouldn't so. get away with murder. And I, I don't think so. I, I would almost put it in C just because she might accidentally get away with murder and <laughs> no one would know why, but it it's just possible. I, yeah. I've definitely yeah. seen them, like, defend themselves pretty well when it came to, like, playing Among Us, but I can also see them confessing at some point. Yeah. Maybe not immediately, yeah. like me and Adriel, but... <laughs> if they get away with the first one, then the rest of them are no problem. But yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, getting over that hump. <sighs> Difficult. All right, mm -hmm. okay. So, so maybe we get away with one murder, but not two murders. Probably two murders, but not one murder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's all or nothing. Um, and the final one is Marcus, aka Puffballs United, uh, who is our game designer, artist, music, a many different roles person. I think he's too nice. I think he would. I think he would confess. <laughs> no, really? I, I, he's I've, I've played. A, <laughs> I've played a lot of a lot of games with Marcus, and if he doesn't if he doesn't get caught red-handed then there's a solid chance. However, his luck is so bad that he'll just get caught red-handed. And so it's a solid B tier from me. So, really? I feel okay. like his his like innate game design knowledge would really help him get away though. Because yeah. it's like, like he, he would go through all the logic steps of why he couldn't possibly have committed this murder. Here's all my alibis. I've thought about this. But he wouldn't do it in a way where he's like telling you all the things he's already thought about. It's that subtlety in design where he would be like, no, like, I was over yeah. there. I feel like yeah. he says things so confidently that I'm like, okay, I believe you. So. It's, it's, I'd put it's him possible. in A tier. Right. Forrest did say he played a, a lot of games. Yeah. Detectives. yeah, it's it's it 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 all comes down to the eyewitnesses. Uh, if, <laughs> you know, he's if he's okay. gonna get caught, then he's gonna get caught. Otherwise, I think he could talk his way out of it. Is there like a B and a half? Like a I know. B, B, Is there like a B, B plus, plus tier? tier? Can I just like leave just add there? a new tier right now, can, <laughs> specifically for Marcus? I don't even know how I, to. Do I hit edit? Edit. Oh. Oh, oh, this is oh, just oh, gonna erase no. everything, isn't it? Oh no! I ruined oh, it. No! Oh, we're good. Oh, oh no, okay. it's fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just constantly move him up and down as we're talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to really, so are we, are we good with this final tier list, basically? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very evenly dispersed. I, I appreciate that. And <laughs> yeah. in this form, it it's is. symmetrical too. I like it. Yeah, okay. so let's, we'll let's leave him in B tier. Marcus at the B tier just for symmetry. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. I wonder how this, like, what this says about our working as a as a team. You know, is this, do we it's work true. together well the because we have like this this perfect um, spread of diabolicalness? And if we were gonna murder somebody as a team, does this mean that we have two pure groups of 
people who can murder. So like, there's two mm. columns all along where we can all have our specialties, and the S tier people are responsible for like making sure we get away with it. Hmm. I think the... all this, I think all this chart has proven is that it's good that none of us are homicide detectives. <laughs> mm. There was yeah. a very, very, very brief moment in my childhood where I wanted to be a forensic pathologist. And then it quickly became apparent just like how unobservant I am on so many things and just how bad I would be at that. And so I was like, all right, I'll be a programmer then. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> mm. uh, you, don't, you don't have to be observant as a programmer. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's sure. well, right. so like as like a forensic detective or whatever, you have to be observant of things that aren't like cold hard facts, I guess. Yeah. Like you have to like look for underlying things and like th there's yeah. a lot more like pushiness to it. Whereas like, yeah. I think that's why programming works because it's like this, 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 this is how it works. This, this, this. Let's get some logic. True. Yeah. I think programmers would be best at solving their own case. If they would be able to prove why they did it. Uh, so I was thinking the other way around, like every programmer in the afterlife being like, okay, who murdered me and why? Mm. <laughs> oh, so you'd only be useful after you're murdered? Well, yeah, that's that what you're saying? Like, to work like that movie with, uh, what's his name? David Hasselhoff. Baywatch? <laughs> Baywatch? <laughs> I mean, not a movie, but is getting it close, not a movie? I suppose. No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, there don't know. I think there is a movie, but yeah. I've never but seen it. But it's primarily a show. In things that weren't Baywatch? Oh, he's in the Only SpongeBob movie. Only his cameos. Movie. He's in oh, the SpongeBob movie. Yeah, so that's the murder movie we're talking about, the SpongeBob movie. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well done. I guess I'll just, just look up. The... Oh, right. uh, I, was, I was thinking of Patrick Swayze, not that David Hasselhoff. I don't know. Oh, I, is that I just, Ghost? Ghost, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think like old, like hunky, dreamy men, you know, I mean, they're all the same to me. <laughs> great, what a great okay. place to end off. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, edit, edit it out. No, never. The... Oh never. no. This is the best story time packs uh, will have gotten. Uh, it was chaotic. We played our game so well and totally knew what was going on the entire time. And all hunky, dreamy men look the same to Gary. Those are the, those are the things we can yeah. walk away with. Um, and and it's uh, enough, Yeah, and Forrest and Sharon will get away with murder. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Yeah. I'm so well, glad. Maybe, I'm so well. glad people could get to know the real inner sloth. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay, so. Yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, if you want, you can find Among Us and our games on many different platforms. You can play it on PC, uh, mobile. <laughs> I'm so good at pitching. Um, Nintendo Switch, and it'll be coming to uh, Xbox and PlayStation. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing some other things, but don't. I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful PAX Australia. Um, actually, does everyone want to just say where they can find you um, on Twitter or whatever? I'm on Twitter at the VTran. Oh, I'll start because I'm at the top of the <laughs> alphabet. Um, nice. I'm on Twitter uh, as Miss Minotaur, M S M I N O T A U R. Yeah, that was it. Uh, I'm on Twitter as Forte underscore base. B A S S Bass. I don't know. Anyways. Forte Bass. I'm uh, on Twitter at Super Gary Deluxe. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Nomin. N O M M I I N. Yeah. And obviously, you can find Inner Sloth Devs on Twitter and at Among Us Game on Twitter and pretty much any other social media platform. All right, so have a good one, everyone. Good packs. Cool. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good packs. <laughs>